You'll want some good dry roasted hazelnuts. They don't have to walk. You want them dry to absorb lots of 151 rum. You want your chocolate, 70%. You want some dry cookies. And of course you want rum. Hello, I'm Nat and this is Cooking Plus Alcohol. Good to see you. And today we're gonna be making maybe the world's strongest rum balls. Uh, M, uh, M, what do you like no, to show? No, you use too much rum. <laughs> Okay, not everybody in every household likes strong alcohol. We've got one of each. So I'm gonna make them and maybe I'll eat them all. For this, I use Largo Bay 151 rum. Now you can use any rum you want. It doesn't have to be 151 proof. The lower the proof, the more people are gonna be able to eat it. But 151 is, is just kind of cool and it gives a nice effect on the mouth. You can also use Lemon Heart, which is really good 151, but it's a little pricier. Bacardi does not make 151 rum anymore, or I couldn't find it, which is really disappointing. And honey, honey takes forever. If you're smart, you wanna add a little bit of oil, put some oil on the spoon, and then the honey just slides right off. I forgot to do that today, so it takes forever, so I had to do a time lapse so it wouldn't like bore you guys to death. Then put a little bit of the rum in the bowl with the honey, mix it up. If you put all of it in one bowl, it can splash all over the place. So this just makes it a little easier. Use light honey, don't use dark honey. Dark honey is probably gonna have more flavor like a buckwheat honey, and that may spoil your rum balls. And it's a really simple recipe. You got your chocolate cookies, you got your hazelnuts, you got your dark chocolate, you got Jimmy's, rum, and of course, honey. Jimmy's, very important. Uh, anything but Jimmy's is going to like melt. It's going to give you a, a squishy mass of odd colors. So make sure to use Jimmy's. With the hazelnuts, you're going to grind up two cups of them initially for your topping that you're going to roll in later. So you grind everything up just a little bit. And then grind it up just a little bit and it's going to be just a little mealy like that, but it's going to roll okay. Add in your jimmies, mix that all up, and now you've got tomorrow's topping. The rest of the hazelnut, mix that up good. It's not gonna be like hazelnut butter or anything, but it's gonna be a lot stickier, and it's gonna make your balls hold together a lot better. And you can see it's, it's not squishy like peanut butter. So these are jovial dry chocolate cookies. You can get any kind of dry cookie you want, uh, if you can get them without chips, that's good. Newman's Own used to make a dry chocolate cookie that was perfect for this, and they stopped making it. Idea is that you want the cookies to be dry because you want them to absorb as much liquid as possible. You want these to be powerful rum balls. And grind up all the cookies, little by little. And that's what it looks like, just, just like breadcrumbs, but chocolate and sweet. Now the chocolate, this is 70% chocolate. These are discs from Whole Foods. You can use any kind of 70% or higher chocolate. Of course, if you use 100% chocolate, then it has no sugar. So it's just kind of bitter. The rest of the discs, you're gonna put in half and half in the food processor with the cookie crumbs. You need the cookie crumbs and the chocolate in there at the same time or everything sticks together, the, the chocolate all melts together. But if you combine them half and half, you get a nice mixture of chocolate and cookie crumbs that you can roll into your balls later. And that's what it looks like. Dump in the rest of the cookie crumbs you got, mix it all up. And now you've got your four ingredients, just mix everything together. You've got your chocolate chunks, you've got your chocolate and cookie dust 
You've got your rum and honey. Mix that all up, leave it overnight, and then come back the next day. Now you're ready to roll. Truth be told, I did have to go in later and add an, another half cup of rum because the rum ball mixture was just too hard. Every kind of cookie you use, every kind of nuts is gonna be a little bit different. So you can't predict exactly how much you need. Be prepared to go back in the next morning. Feel it, if it's squishy, you're ready to roll. If it's a little hard, add more rum. What's the worst thing that can happen, right? But the texture should be like this. Kind of squishy, kind of rolly. Coat it like that. You've got to press the, the nuts and the jimmies onto it and go to town. You can put it in one of those storage containers. Keeps for about a month and otherwise you can put it in the freezer. So now we're going to find out how flammable these balls can be. And I messed up here. If you look carefully, you see it did catch on fire, but I didn't see that until I saw the video later. So this was a successful test and I didn't know. Nope. Oh well. <laughs> I'll make them stronger next time. After all that work, well, let's see what they taste like. Now it's got a little kick, and then it gets stronger and stronger. Now there's a burn. Yep. Very chocolatey though, and, and hot. Em, hmm. you want to try some? No way. Call me when you make port bowls. Maybe next time. Okay. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. If you have an idea for the next cooking plus alcohol recipe, please drop it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button or join me for another video right now. See you next time and don't forget to play with your food.